Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I am aware that my workspace looks like a hot mess. That is because I'm working on um, a set of five canvases and I'm doing them all at one go. And when I finish, I'm going to take the runoff that um, is going to be on my pad things. And I'm going to dip my towels and I'm going to make coasters. So, I didn't want to get new um, pads out because I wanted to be able to have the runoff. Um, I already went through the color palette on the other video so I'm just going to list in the description the colors I'm using I don't really think that this video is gonna teach you much but if you just like watching acrylic pouring um, this is for you <laughs> um, yeah so I just layered my colors in my cups Two of these colors do have a um, have silicone in them, which I have not worked with silicone in forever, and um, I'm remembering why, because it is extremely difficult to control your painting and your pores whenever you put silicone in it. When I started acrylic painting, like silicone was everything, like everything. You had to have silicone in your painting. You had to make sales. And now, it's not. Now, the, the kind of thing to do is um, specialty paint. And I do my share of, of paintings with specialty paints. I love it. Milk paint is my favorite. Um, yeah. But, yeah, there was a time when silicone was was what satin enamel is now. And I'm not saying it's it's definitely not out of date. Um, lots of people still use silicone. It's just I've learned that um, be stingy with your silicone. Like you don't have to put it in every color that you're um, using you will get way cooler effects if you just put it in one or two of the colors and yeah what's crazy is this gold I love this gold I say it every time I use it this is Anita's metallic gold and it is my favorite Can you guys see that? Isn't that incredible? Like, this is so nice. I'm trying to get down here and get that wonky bit off. Without ruining my other parts. I really like how this come out. I was not expecting this. Wow! It's so nice. I've been watching too much. What's that uh, food channel that Rie's on? And she goes, make it fancy. I've been watching make it fancy.
Well, this is... Whoa! I'm very happy with this. Very, very happy. So cool. I'm just, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just raking my finger under the edge so that the paint won't continue to pull down the sides. So, okay, that's the first one. And that was an 8 by 10. Do you guys say 8 by 10 or 10 by 8? Because sometimes I, I catch myself saying 10 by 8, like the bigger number first. I don't know why I do this. I just do. All right, we're gonna put down another base coat. This is a 10 by 20, a 20 by 10, <laughs> whatever you call it. I using this stinking stick. I use my hand. Is my head in your way again? I'm so sorry. It is still raining. I'm not complaining. It just makes me sleepy. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm going to do four flipping drags on this. Um, I should have sorted out my cups of paint before I put that base color down, shouldn't I? But I didn't. Alright. Put cream as the bottom color in two, and then I'm going to put burgundy as the bottom color in the other two. I said it in the previous video. I, if I have silicone in a paint, I don't like to have that as my base color. Maybe I'm just a weird little tootie free. Then we're going to put some gold. We'll just repeat the process. I lost track of my colors. That wasn't cute, was it? Scoot you down some. All right. I got one more 10 by 20 to do. If you're wondering why this crazy woman mixed up a gallon of paint, that's why. <laughs> concerned about how this paint looks. I'm putting it there to help um, do not try this at home. <laughs>
Not great, but better. start rocking it back and forth and instead of just going straight you increase your ankle see so that you don't lose your little stripies that you made with your cups Then you bring it back down. This this one on my right, which is your left, that gold and burgundy. That is some kind of pretty. If it seems like I'm going fast, it's because I am. Because the last one I did, the longer it took me to move it, the more the cells developed and then they got really stretched out and I was not, I was not um, extremely happy with that. This one though is better. These started getting a little wonky, but it's nowhere near what the other ones did. I wish this area right here would come out a little bit better. I know I'm spending a lot of time with a heat gun, but my flame is not very close to the canvas, and I did see a I did see something. I knew it wasn't come out. I think it's just a little piece of paint that didn't get stirred. Sometimes the light plays tricks on you. Well, this thing just showed out here because this is so much better than the other one. So, that means I just need to work a little faster. Alright, so, here you go. Uh, I'm, like I said, this really wasn't to teach you anything. Flip and drag is an old technique. Uh, if you learn something, that's fantastic. If you were entertained, that's fantastic too. Um, but, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a good night, good day, good evening, wherever you are. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.